It's always a good feeling to get a book back from the greatest editor in the entire world. Granted, my editor also happens to be my wife, so there might be a little bias there, but it means I've got another book almost ready for publication. Now, it just needs a final listen using a text to speech reader to make sure that everything flows. Once I'm happy with the manuscript, it gets formatted for print and ebook and sent to early readers and reviewers. Then comes the dreaded launch. I try to create evergreen stories with the aim of becoming a perennial seller. I'd rather a book sell consistently over time than have an early flurry of sales before sliding into obscurity. With indie publishing, the book launch isn't the be all and end all as it is with corporate publishers. If a book doesn't sell in the first few weeks, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't damage my future prospects. My career isn't dead. I can learn from my mistakes and work out what I can do better next time. I can pivot. I could try something else. I could rebrand, re-release if necessary. I can even write the next book. With seven novels, 25 novellas, and four non-fiction books to my name, I still have to pinch myself that I've made it work as a sustainable business. And I still get that tingling feeling when I sit back and hit publish. So if you're getting value from these videos, please hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. How does your launch work? So until next time, cheerio.